All right, 6 o'clock, we're going to get started. The Grand Rapids Town Board is meeting today, Tuesday, August 8th, 2023, at 6 p.m. at the Town of Grand Rapids Municipal Building. The first agenda item is Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, second agenda item is approve agenda for meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of July 11th. Oh, oh, we're not, yeah, hold on. Oh, oh I'm this meeting, yep. <laughs> this meeting, yep. <laughs> I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, third agenda item is approved minutes of the July 11, 2023 town board meeting and July 17, 2023 special board meeting. Those minutes I will approve. Oh, second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, fourth agenda item is public comment. People wishing to address the board will be limited to two minutes each with public comment limited to a total of 30 minutes. Oh, go ahead. Now, <clears throat> Ron Hatt, 25, 21, Blueberry Lane. I think these were the minutes <clears throat> for the last meeting. It says resident Ron Hatt stated how difficult it is to hear the board members when they talk to each other and suggested looking into better audio of the meeting. I'm not asking for better audio of the meeting. I'm asking for a louder voice from the board members for their constituents to hear them. You know, I've, I've, I've seen uh, meetings that have Mike sitting on the desk and nobody talks into them anyway sometimes. You know, so appreciate that. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else for public comment? Uh, fifth agenda item is monthly reports from departments. Uh, first up, fire department. Mark Cruz from the fire department. Uh, I believe you got your notes from the chief. Uh, we currently are staffed with 46 members, fire and EMS. Always looking for more. We had two join this last month, but we also lost two of our members, so we're still maintaining 46. So if anybody out there wants to, please see the chief stop in. Uh, since the last report to the board, there were 39 calls, 25 EMS, 14 fire, four for Grand Rapids, one Saratoga, one grant, and eight mutual aid calls. Two structure alarms, eight mutual aids were Rochelle, Coloma, Buren, Rome, and Wisconsin Rapids. The Rochelle and Coloma ones were both uh, strike force for Wood County. Uh, we had one false alarm, two motor vehicle accidents, and then one vehicle fire. The monthly training consisted of EMS was Project Lifesaver, and fire did draft sites and water flow evolutions. Our meetings, we had one monthly, three training, and one officer meeting. Public creations was uh, the 23 gun raffle we had, which was a huge success. Uh, Versity had their blood drive, a two-day blood drive, and the first day they were uh, had all their allotted uh, spots filled. And they even went an hour longer than they were supposed to, so it was, it was great. Uh, we hosted a retiree breakfast, attended the Rudolph Parade, had the Family Center touch a truck event at the Grand Rapids Lions, and we also performed our weekly upkeep for the memorial over in Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, we had our sign pro uh, program, we had two signs installed last month. We had one injury for the month of, of uh, July. Say any, any questions? How did your uh, parking uh, uh, deal go with uh, car crews and that? Was that, uh, that was nice for you? Yes, it worked out really good for us. Um, I heard some comments that they were going to do something on their end with parking next year because it was, there was a few things with the uh, fencing and stuff that made it a little tough, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that went real good. 
couldn't hear. On your injury report, was that a lost timer? No. That's. Um, it no. was. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, back to work now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was on a, a fire mm -hmm. Thank you. Next up, police department. Okay. Good evening, everyone. For the month of July, the Grand Rapids Police Department handled 462 calls for service and that compared to 461 calls for service in July of last year. So only a difference of one call and uh, board members have a breakdown of those calls. The department issued 79 traffic citations, 18 municipal ordinance citations, 15 written warnings and there were no DNR citations issued for the month of July. The Grand Rapids Police Auxiliary had another busy month. They assisted with the Wisconsin Rapids fireworks display on July 4th. Uh, the Wisconsin State Water Ski Show Championships hosted by the Aqua Skiers at the South Wood County Park July 20th through the 23rd. And at both of those events, their duties included traffic control, crowd control, and ID checks. They also participated in the Touch a Truck event at the Grand Rapids Lions Club on July 29th, and that was a fundraising uh, event sponsored or supported the uh, Family Center as well as the attended by families from the local community. Children were especially pleased to be able to touch and view all the vehicles that were on display. Please thank our auxiliary staff for their service when you see them out in, in the community. We got quite a few events yet this year, so uh, they'll they still have a. a Pretty big schedule coming up yet uh, through the end of uh, October. Our 2020 Ford Explorer needed repairs on the air conditioning system, uh, which is now operational and back in service. Outside of that, uh, uh, the vehicles were normal maintenance and uh, uh, in good operating order. Again, feel free to step by, stop by my office anytime if you have any questions or concerns. Any questions? I have one. Um, was the 2024 Ford Explorer, the air conditioning, was there any warranty um, that... 2020 Ford Explorer? Uh, the 2020? Yeah. It was under warranty then? Or... There were the parts, there were a couple parts that were under warranty. Okay. But, that, but uh, saved us a little bit, but it still was a... An major time-consuming uh, labor-intensive uh, repair let's put it that way for the bill the, for that what's that for the bill for the invoice that would come out on that there was the amount it was two thousand nine hundred it was two thousand nine hundred and okay. some change so okay and then um, I've had inquiries in regards to the traffic um, because of the roundabout People are asking if they are able to cut through, um, you know, like f through the subdivisions that are over here to come up to like 45th Street and go out that way. Is that blocked off as far as? Kellner Road is closed. I can't stress that enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked this over with the fire department. Kellner Road is closed. Okay. You can cross it perpendicular at some of the intersections, mm -hmm. 46th, 45th, down here at 64th, if you need to get from one side to the other. Okay. Uh, people that live on Kellner Road, businesses on Kellner Road, uh, some uh, like Bud's and, and the dollar store here. Uh, dollar store, you can take 46th Street straight across almost right into their parking lot. So we're telling people if they want to go to the dollar store, come across on 46. Uh, the people that live on there, they should be taking the most direct route from from their residence to the nearest intersection to, to get off of Kellner Road. Okay. And same way returning, they should be taking the most direct route uh, that would take them nearest their driveway on Kellner Road from whatever intersection. Okay. So that little bit of travel for the residents uh, there's a couple of signs that have local traffic on them. Mm -hmm. The people that live on Kellner Road are local traffic. 
somebody that lives in Kellner or lives on the west side of Rapids, that no. is not local traffic, I'm yeah. sorry. I've heard that excuse many times. Okay. But Kellner Road is closed. Okay. So you cannot travel Kellner Road between 45th and 42nd to get onto Lake, okay? okay. We experimented with that for a couple days, mm. trying to see if we could allow that, and it was a total disaster. Oh. People took advantage of it so bad that we have to stick, and, and this is in consultation and coordination with the Wood County Highway Department mm -hmm. and also the Wood County uh, uh, Chairman to that when we say it's closed, it's closed. So please stay off of Kellner Road. You look at the size of some of these trucks that are rolling down there now yeah. and they would crush any small Beautiful. vehicle. And uh, like I said, we, we tried to cut a little bit of slack on that short distance between 45th and 42nd, and people just took advantage of it. We spent almost all last week as an educational process, warning people and talking to them. We talked to literally hundreds of people. I think I talked to hundreds of people in one day on uh, last Tuesday, a week ago today. and. Uh, uh, trying to get the word out there. We've made some posts on our Facebook page and our uh, town website, how to get around. Uh, but, and you know, we just need to keep people off of Kellner Road. So, to keep everybody safe. So. Good, thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, one more um, question that they had was, did they give an update as to how the project was coming along and the time frame? I, I have not heard any updates. Uh, like I said, we're only really a couple week and a half into it, so uh, I haven't heard any updates if they're ahead of schedule, behind schedule, or what. Uh, I'm still telling people two months. Okay. So, uh, until I hear plan. until I hear differently, uh, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. So okay, great. Thank you. Go ahead. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, so no crossing at 45th Street. No, you can cross perpendicular. Perpendicular at, at 45th, 45th Street is okay. Yeah, you can cross okay. perpendicular Thank at you. all those intersections uh, that we talked about, 64th. 40, uh, 46, you can cut across right. into the parking lot, dollar store, 45th, so okay. uh, all those types of intersections you can. Uh, you know, we, we've started giving, like I said, the education I think is done with. Uh, we've started issuing citations. We had an individual drive through this mess right here at 48th and Kellner Road today, believe it or not, so thank to our Crack office staff to observe that uh, <laughs> we were Go able get to, <laughs> to correct the behavior. So, mm -hmm. any other questions? You want a lot more than one drive through here. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I know. I stop I stop one and I got three passing me as I got a traffic stop. You know. <laughs> and then they, I don't know where they're coming from, but they come through here and they'll drive through the vacant lot over there. And then come out right by the Dollar General. <coughs> yeah. I've seen lots of people doing that. And an officer told me, because I, you know, I parked <coughs> over at uh, Bud's Corner Martin. I asked the construction, can I walk across here? He goes, well, if you fall over, you can consider it a state funded funeral. <laughs> he said, yes, yeah, so I did. And, uh, and then I asked the lady in the office, said, no, you can come in where the fire department is. But an officer told me, don't be on Keller Road any longer than you need to be. Right, exactly. Yep, shortest distance to get to, uh, like in your case, to your residence. You know, whatever the shortest distance is to get there, that's what we're recommending. Yep. Is the municipal building always going to have access? Uh, we're hoping that we have to have some access uh, for emergency equipment, you know, with fire department, police department. So, like today, uh, they're really messing things up in the front here, so we've had to come in off of our Kellner Street, our two entrances off of Kellner, uh, 
to access the building. So which means we got to drive on, usually come down from 45th or if we're on that side, we'll cut across on, on 46 to get to, into the driveways here. So they, they're supposed to keep ac driveway access open at one of these two locations uh, during the construction. So that's exactly why I'm asking the question, because I came down the 48th and, and you know, I see there was a trail, a temporary yeah. road on the side. If, yeah. If that wasn't there, how would I get here? Right, right. Then you'd I mean, have to come in off of one of these other ones on the... Would be okay to drive on W? You, if this front part is closed, yes, then you okay. would have to. Again, that's the short, would be the shortest route at that time, because okay. during the dynamics of all this construction, it changes, obviously, and uh, it's going to affect different areas of the construction project in different ways. So today, it's really affecting us all front here. Yeah, I did talk to the construction crew this morning. They were hoping to have this entrance open by noon or end of the day at the latest. That, then they'll be done with that short section. Yeah, yeah, so. Thank you. Good. All right, uh, Treasurer. Okay, for the month of July, uh, the receipts were $244,358.99. The disbursements were $200,630.58. Our checking account balance is $105,703.77. The repo account has $297,402.91. Our money market is at $331. $56.81. Our two tax accounts are at $451.38. Um, our outstanding checks are $10,874.63 for an overall total of $723,740.24. And our ARPA account is at $674.8374 for a grand total of one million three hundred ninety seven thousand eight hundred twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents all right sixth agenda item is consideration and possible action on officer Kubischek's training request to attend DCI death investigation school in Green Lake Wisconsin from September 11th through the 22nd, 2023. I will so move. Okay, is there a second? I will second. Okay, any discussion? All right, all of those in favor signify by I saying aye. I found this on the web. Oh, aye. Sorry. <laughs> 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 no. Signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Agenda item number seven is consideration of possible action on 48th Street Bridge repair. Um, do you open this up to you guys for a Yeah, do you want me to update or do you want to update? Um, I'll go over what we did with okay. today. How we met with today. Is that okay? And then yeah. you can maybe recap? Yep. Okay. Um, the pictures on in, in front of you that were given, given um, by Lisa, number seven, and they are nicely logged out as north, south, east, west are showing in a nutshell uh, what is happening to the west side of our bridge on 48th Street um, where the grass and the grass ends you can see a visible hole that hole is about a foot long and about two inches deep or two inches wide and then that concrete next to it is actually what they refer to as spalded concrete from the freeze-thaw cycle and movement. What's happening is from the rainwater coming down both sides of, of the uh, bridge from north and south sides are washing in that hole and actually blowing out part of the 
tuck pointing or chinking mm -hmm. as it's called uh, that that Mike and Jake and the crew have done in the past years and it is starting to disturb the rails the guardrail posts and what it, Mike is uh, they found this uh, during their spring uh, cutting so uh, hats off to those guys for, for uh, bringing this up to us we've met uh, several times to come up with a plan and Mike has uh, a quote that's all in front of you from Bone um, today we met with a DNR official and he uh, was very good to work with he offered some very good suggestion and uh, basically gave us the town um, a green light to proceed with the project and that project consists of riprap at the shoreline and basically widen he, he gave us a five to six foot uh, measurement which would be to the west so that bank can be can be built up it is it is so steep right now basically the mm -hmm. entire bank is going into the creek into the four mile so um, ultimately if this is not attended to our bridge moves so um, the cost involved um, we're looking at just shy eleven thousand dollars bid at time and materials this is preventive maintenance um, and it, it needs to be done so again our DNR official uh, the permit is in and basically this guy wants part <laughs> of our meeting too yes, it does. Um, the permit is in and approved by the DNR it does need to be forwarded to our county zoning official mm. and that should basically just be a phone call and we'll be able to move ahead Mike will change uh, the material estimate in here um, calls for approximately 85 yards of 6 to 12 inch riprap mm -hmm. that size is going to go up our DNR official said to go 16 to 18 inch he said the bigger the better so the price actually goes up then with the larger it's rock gonna, or is it uh, uh, it probably will um, again this is bit at time and materials but the suggestion for the larger rock is a longevity thing mm -hmm. a larger rock takes more power to move basically mm -hmm. so that's um what is the length of the bridge that I don't know Bill because the 20 foot um, there's a lot of bridges that are under 20 foot that don't qualify for state aid on that I, I, I think it'd be a good thing if you check with Roland I think there's money out there for this mm, that was initially I know I put that in your packet um, but when I talked to Mike today the DNR rep told him no that we we would not be eligible for any funding yeah, I, um, it, it he was is. hoping we would have like an 80 20 opportunity but it is definitely longer than 20 feet is that why because it's I'm not sure than Mike just said the DNR rep I, I would check with Roland anyways I mean he he's head of the um, uh, state of Wisconsin highway commissioner for all 72 counties we'll look into it and so is there a time frame that um, well, the excavating company can start or uh, well planned? I had asked how soon it needed to be done if right. we could wait till budget and he said the sooner the better no it can't wait okay. um, but he's uh, he's figuring the first week of November probably mm -hmm. they can do it. first week in November so you need authorization for this to get it out of the budget yeah because it yeah. obviously wasn't budgeted not, so. not to exceed 12 
there thousand. there will be um, he said there's going to be another probably a thousand or so for some grout that he needs to get he doesn't have the price on that but he's guessing that will probably be a thousand I'll make or a motion so. to take it out of the budget and uh, uh, yeah, not, not to exceed twelve thousand dollars we're actually if I under the correct understanding we're actually going to take this from our road repair budget correct um, well I know because well the ARPA money the projects that you all approved last month was it mm -hmm. that was to not exceed the two hundred and fifty thousand so there's unless those projects don't come in yes you would have money left over but you did you've allocated that money now to the road to, the to, okay. to yep. those projects now they might not come in i guess nick do you have a suggestion as to what the best way to word the motion would be well so just a couple general thoughts uh, as i looked at this and, and looked at the picture uh and and now hearing uh, kind of a timeline to doing that I, I wonder if this is public construction that would need at least that class one because of it's not above 25 but it is uh, between five and 25. I do think we want that class one notice. We have time to do it certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, we can proceed uh, tonight with uh, with getting that updated quote. Uh, we can get the class one notice out. We can even have uh, some discussion and, and an idea of where that's going to come from. But I do think uh, this would be public construction within that, that meeting and we probably should proceed that with a class one notice. And it sounds like there's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment anyway. Right. We can still uh, get on his calendar for the timeline and, and make all that, still reach out uh, to the appropriate contacts uh, with the county and, and have that as well. I just, uh, I can assist you with how we wanna word that, but I think we do wanna make sure we have that. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know if that was an answer to your question mm -hmm. or not, but. Uh, but I, I think we can move forward with this and and, uh, and and have it reserved on the calendar. We can take care of the class one notice, have an updated uh, quote and, and estimate to approve, and then we'll uh, be able to proceed at the next meeting. Okay, yeah, that answered my question. Okay, and one more quick thing to elaborate on the quote. Um, we have uh, a west of bridge and east of bridge. The permitted area would be west of bridge that the dnr w that we initially that mike initially called them in to have uh them look at it the area east of bridge is going to be considered basically as town maintenance uh, that is not touching water um, it's basically a little bit of prevention so that is also due to the water runoff from the north and that again is just erosion from water runoff so i have one more question that doesn't fix the crumbling concrete then this does not fix that i mean it will prohibit from it correct going but then what's our plan then that to fix the crumbling concrete this this isn't a, is near of concern okay. as um, our crack filling contractor will also clean this joint mm -hmm. out and what we need to do is shore this area up to the west of our bridge mm -hmm. and then seal this area okay and that will be um, back or rod you know a filler substance and then the crack filling okay um, again to keep the water from penetrating mm -hmm. so we don't need to fix concrete at this that time. eventually should be sawn all the right. but it's it's we can take a look at that at it, budget time it, it, it's minimal oh okay yeah, that's minimal but it's just a indicator that something's, something's not right right okay nice thank you everybody good with that so um Bill's motion dies. Okay. So we're good. We don't need anything further. We're just oops. Stop. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Agenda item number eight is consideration and possible action on board members attending the annual WTA convention and WTA fall workshop. 
and we don't we don't need any action on this this is just so you all have the information and you have your deadlines when you need to get those registrations into me by so if you are going to do it just please complete them and get them to me by those deadlines that they do okay. so we have the option of actually physically attending or doing the um, online was there an online one yeah, I said there was. Oh, for the workshop. Mm -hmm. For the workshop, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you keep it, you've got two. You've got the workshop and then the annual convention. So, okay. Thank you. All right. Agenda item number nine is operator license applications. I'll make a motion to approve the one year Tara Cook and Danielle. Leapine, Leapine for one year. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. All right. Uh, agenda item number 10 is July disbursement vouchers. Any questions on that? I don't have any. Okay. All right. Um, then moving on to monthly reports from committees, uh, public works. Um, we don't have anything in addition to what's kind of been discussed. We have to meet again this month. So we'll have updates next, next month for that. Um, airport commission. Our meeting for July, um, just a few high points of that. Again, uh, July was the uh, busiest, and I don't know if it would be most profitable, but the most fuel sold in airport history. Uh, they were quite proud of that. Again, due to the volume of the, the, golf, um, the golf course uh, traffic and so on. Um, and a lot of just... Um, Hobbyist type people coming in and out of the airport. The uh, representative from SEC was, which uh, is the consultant engineering firm that was hired on, was also present. Uh, that again, to verify or to, to explain, that is the federally federally mandated um, program that. Um, each airport, each small airport needs a uh, master plan to basically qualify for for funding. And um, there's going to be a lot of projects going on out there. That master plan is actually a 20-year plan, but it's quite overwhelming, actually. Um, some future meetings were discussed regarding um, improvements, expansions. They are going to be developing a website uh, to keep the public, the public and our community in, involved with uh, what's going on at our airport. And just some basic things going on on building, soft and fascia work. And they're still waiting for a contractor re to repair a large door on one of the hangars. And lastly, it was brought up by the one of our local EAA chapter that the 100 year anniversary of the airport is coming up and that is in 2028 and there's lots of talk of events and so on so that's a pretty big accomplishment 100 years so that's it okay. uh, recycling solid waste and water we have a meeting coming up this week that will, um, we have a guest speaker, Tim Miller, who represents waste management, will be there to um, give a little presentation. Okay. Uh, Planning Commission? Oh, we met um, last month and we ended up having two chicken um, permits, one dog exemption, and one mobile sales permit. All right, public buildings. Um, so, Bill, you can 
add to this too, but um, we did get quotes for phones. We'll be bringing something to the board next month um, in regards to the phone system. Um, we also are in the process of getting quotes from mics for meetings like this, um, not just comments um, from those here, but also knowing that with the recording here, there's issues with sound as well. So just looking to see what that might, might cost to look into that. Anything else, Bill? Yeah, you want to tell them about the sign? Yeah. Yes. Um, so we, um, we wrote a grant to the seed committee, um, the county um, seed committee, and we attended their meeting for their acceptance or denial of grant applications, and we were denied um, for an electronic sign here. Um, but we will continue to look into funding for electronic sign for out front. If I may just add, the county at their seed committee, which is uh, Conservation, Education, and Economic Development, that's what the seed stands for. Um, at that, they had request of over a million dollars, a million one hundred and eighty-three, I believe, to be exact, and they only give out six hundred and thirty-six thousand. And, and that's not been approved by the county board yet. But there was some big requests for over $100,000 this year. It was, I've never seen it so bad. And the well, thing about it is, is the county just joined North Central Regional Planning. So, so municipalities could go to them and get it money. Now they come into the seat committee for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, it's the biggest amount I ever saw come to. I wasn't able to attend it because I was out of town. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, legislative? We have a minute. Yeah, I would just say we, we do have e enough items to slate an agenda, that's to be sure. I think uh, given the uh, recruitment for a couple different positions and uh, the number of meetings required, that's probably taken a little bit of a of a backseat to that at this moment, but we do have uh, enough uh, items to uh, slate an agenda and, and we would anticipate having a meeting soon. Okay. Uh, public safety? We have not met, but we've covered a bunch of things uh, kind of in conjunction with uh, public works, so I'd almost say our bridge issue is a public safety issue, so. But otherwise we have not met. Okay. Um, economic development, we have not met for that. Um, personnel, uh, the only updates are the um, candidates for the public works position. The interviews will be um, August 22nd and 23rd, and then the zoning administrator position closes this Friday for applicants. I'm the zoning administrator. You're looking for part time or? It's full time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, WTA meeting? No, the last meeting was held July 21st and uh, it was hosted by the town of Seneca. Uh, I believe there was 38 members present at that meeting. Uh, Andrew Weiland from Focus, <coughs> which used to be Sweeps. Uh, was was there as the speaker and that has really taken off because they're in the Spar Hulk building now and uh, kind of the pantry this situation. And representative uh, Donna Rosa and Nancy Vandermeer were the only two legislators there and they talked about budgeting issues. And Steve Dickerson from the Wisconsin Towns Association our district director for District 2 discussed the town's an, uh, association workshop and a variety of budget concerns and also talked about the annual convention coming up. The next meeting will be at the town of Cherry on August 18th at 6.30. Right. Uh, uh, next agenda item is reports from individual town board members. Bill. No, I don't have any. Okay. Patty? Nothing. Thank you. <coughs> Jason? I think I've talked enough other <laughs> than uh, <laughs> welcome Jeff to our board. Thank you. Jeff, did you have anything? 
I just want to say thanks for the opportunity and looking forward to work with everybody and hopefully add value to the, to the group. So thank you. Great. Um, I, I would like to um, actually just have a discussion about, um, I would like to close the municipal building to the public through the end of this week. There have been a number of concerns that have come to me regarding the road construction and getting in here. Um, it, we would still be able to take, you know, have phone calls if anyone needed anything from here. We could figure out a situation for them to be able to access, um, but still be accessible through phone um, through that time. There might be a higher call volume, which might lead to some voicemails, but they're gonna, you know, they would be able to check um, throughout <coughs> the end of the week to be able to address any needs. Um, this out front here, you know, obviously we can't go through there as of today. So I think it would just be good through the end of this week to be able to just, for everyone's safety, be able to close it to the public, um, but still be accessible to everybody. We have had people parking at Buds walking across, which is not safe, obviously. So um, I would just like to see that, that done this week. So for my meeting that's coming up Thursday, that cancel that? Is that what you're requesting? No, we could still have that meeting. It's scheduled. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's just a matter of during the day, the public coming in and oh, out of okay. here. Yeah. And then obviously if the public needed to come in here for something, just having a conversation with the office to make arrangements for that. But just in general, people coming in and out, trying mm -hmm. to slow that down. So that your open sense. sign won't be lit, right? Right. I would still that be able to have court tomorrow night. Yes. Right? Because yes. it's scheduled. Yep, right. correct. Yep. Do they need any kind of motion or anything for that? Probably not. No. I don't think so. Just consensus is, right. is enough, I think. And, and it's just to clarify, it's through the end of the week? Just through the end of this week, yep. Because okay. from my understanding, that should be done by, okay. Or not done, but open again. I think it's a wise idea. Right. Likewise. Thanks, Bill. Bill? Yes. Good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, next agenda item is public input. People wishing to address the board will be limited to two minutes each with the with the public input limited to a total of 16 minutes. Yep, go ahead. You guys did great tonight. I could hear you all. Good. <laughs> big improvement, taste and big improvement. You kind of died at the end there. <laughs> What'd you think, Keith? Could you hear him tonight? One good scolding from everyone. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Perfect. Anyone else? Okay. All right. Any uh, future agenda items? Well, the phones brought back, yep. and then the bridge repair. Yep. Okay. Then we'll probably have the a special meeting then for um, the zoning administrator approval or by the town board do you think that would be on the next month or are you, are you thinking uh, more special just as a question just timeline wise yeah. it probably would be the next town board meeting okay yeah just because with the public works position trying to yeah yeah get through all, both of those but okay i'll let yeah. you know if that changes okay. for sure okay Did you sign that? Yes. Yep. Thank you. All right. Uh, next agenda item is the Grand Rapids Town Board may go into full session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.851E, deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session for the purpose of considering compensation requests from building inspector. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. Um, roll call, Bill? Aye. Patty? Aye. Jason? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Myself? Aye. 